I think it might be time to play Gavin or Google. I think that indicates the audience would like to play Gavin or Google. Just to remind you, if you've never played Ga Gavin or Google, the way we play Gavin or Google Gavin. is we take a three or four word phrase and we type it into the search engine Google. Google autocomplete tells us the stupidest searches from all over the world. We then pick the funniest one. Then we take that same three or four word phrase and we give it to the young Gavin Free and his idiotic brain comes up with the stupidest possible question. We then ask you, the audience, who said it, Gavin or Google? Do you want to play? All right. So are we actually going to ask the audience? Sure. Well, fuck it. Why not? All right. You know the song. Sing it along with me. Gavin or Google. Google or Gavin. Which one said it? Let's find out. Hey, I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> There wasn't very much enthusiasm in that. Yeah, yeah. One yeah. more time. That's up. What do you mean one more time? You do it. I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> <laughs> that is the happiest I've ever seen you look yeah, in look my at entire that. life. Fake it. Just act. All right. We got a couple of them tonight. We got a few more than we usually do. We usually do three. We're going to do more for tonight because we have a live audience. First one's a bit of a slam dunk. The phrase was... Wait. You're not going to do that last one, are you? Maybe. Apologies uh, in advance. <laughs> The, the phrase was, what happens when? What happens when? The first answer we got was, what happens when a president marries a queen? <laughs> what happens when a president marries a queen? What would happen when that holy matrimony takes place? And then the second one was, what happens when I lose one of my white friends in the snow? <laughs> no. <laughs> Obviously, Gus, which one is Gavin and which one is Google? First of all, the one, <laughs> what happens when a president marries a queen is very uh, sexist against women. Why? President? Is it, is it implying that the president has to be a man? You're saying a woman can't marry a woman? You're homophobic, Jesus, Gus. bitch. <laughs> Gay rights. Not in the United oh. States. What happened? Way to, way to fucking put spin on that, mister. <laughs> well, we are in a political discussion. I guess it could also be a, president mar a male president marrying a drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> I would pay great money to see that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with the, the queen one as Gavin, just because he's British. Barbara? I'm going to say the white people one is Gavin because he's incredibly racist. Oh. How, what? Uh, audience, what did Gavin say? The first one or the second one? First one, audience and Gus, you are correct. Gavin wants to know. And I do, well, Gavin, what happens when a, a president marries a queen? I have no idea. It'd be <laughs> pretty interesting. You'd be president King. <laughs> if you marry a queen, though, you're not king. You're just well, the dude who married the queen. You know how when you get a divorce, you get half of the other person's stuff? Yeah, bring that up. But okay, the president get, like, most of Europe. <laughs> You get, you get, like, Wales and Scotland. <laughs> Wait, so Google was asking if you lose one of your white friends in the snow? Yeah. You're from Canada. It must yeah, happen a lot. It does. That's actually one of the first things Joel ever said to me. He said he's used to me seeing me in, like, the context of snow, just, like, camouflaged. Yeah. In Canada, in snow. Yeah, it's so, interesting. Now that Barb has moved to Texas and she actually gets out in the sun, she turns a really slightly darker shade of white. It's amazing. Yeah. See, it's like over the course of the year, it's like an albino rainbow yeah, it's like for dirty her, basically. Ice cream. All right, the next question was this involves babies, so. <laughs> really, dude? All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> All right, which one? I said, do babies, dot, dot, dot. Do babies, dot, dot, dot. First question was, <laughs> do babies poop in the womb? Do babies poop in the womb? And then, <laughs> that was one. The other one was, <laughs> <laughs> do babies float? <laughs> Well, assuming... <laughs> 
Assuming <laughs> that do babies float is Google makes me really concerned about the health of our babies in this country. <laughs> it's like, huh, I've got this new baby. <laughs> I wonder if it's going to float. <laughs> Before I throw it in the pool, let's do a Google search. Or maybe some people just try to solve a really weird like physics homework problem. <laughs> All right, All right you, have to go first. you have to go first this time, Barbara. I Bar think uh, do babies float is Google. Do babies float is Google. And what do you say? I agree. That Google asked do babies float. Audience, who said do babies float? I heard mostly Google. <laughs> Couple of well, Gavin holdouts. You fuckers should have yelled louder then. Uh... All right, there you're you all wrong. It turns out that Gavin wanted to know, do babies float? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Why? Well, well, I'd heard of babies being born in water, and I thought, that's pretty cool. <laughs> but, then I, but then I just thought, well, what happens next, though? Like, <laughs> you thought they'd go down the drain? No, they, they've, got, they've got a guy with a pool skimmer on the side of the water, like, ready to scoop the baby out. <laughs> it's like, he's like, I caught a dead possum with this thing. The baby's no problem. <laughs> There's an emergency scuba team to get it off the bottom of the pool, just in case. <laughs> they got little baby-sized scuba gear to put on its face. <laughs> the world is so stupid. Uh, <laughs> has a person, we got two more, has a person, dot, 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 has a person ever, dot, dot, dot. First answer was, <laughs> has a person ever been to Mars? <laughs> has a person ever been to Mars? Okay. Then, the other wanted to know, has a person ever been born without a body? <laughs> just, I guess, the what? head. <laughs> That's no. it. Just head. I'm really stumped. This may be the most puzzling <laughs> Gavin or Google ever because those are both fucking stupid. <laughs> Do you think if you ask Gavin if a person's ever been to Mars, do you think he would come up with the answers? Like, would would he know? Okay, well, I'm genuinely I, curious. I gotta answer this one first, so I'll just put it all out there. I would assume Gavin knows the answer to that. So I'm gonna say, has a person ever been born without a body was Gavin? Although I can't imagine what you're fucking thinking. <laughs> Barbara? I have to agree. Has a person ever been to Mars is Google. Has a person ever been to Mars? Google it. What was your answer? Same thing. Audience, what do you think? Has a person ever been, been to Mars? Gavin or Google? <laughs> we live in a world of idiots. They don't know if a person has been to Mars. You're all correct. You get one point. Okay. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Shut up, shut up, shut up. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> what would that be? I imagine it would look like a Furby. <laughs> Like a gremlin just shooting out? Yeah. Would you have to feed it? Not after midnight. <laughs> but that's a body. <laughs> well, how is it a body if it's a head? A Furby? What? Does a Furby have a... What, what, who's ever x-rayed a Furby? We don't know what's going on. <laughs> you have x-rayed a Furby? No. She took it apart. I just think that she's ripped apart a Furby. Okay, there's going to be an intervention after the podcast night. <clears throat> Me can talk to the guy who went woo for babies. <laughs> right there. It's All right. Float, so and the okay. last one was the subject of words. And it was why is the word? Why is the word? It's dot dot dot. Why is the word? The first wanted to know. <laughs> why is the word long shorter than the word short? <laughs> <laughs> Seems legit. God damn. <laughs> the other one, the other one wanted to know, <laughs> why is the word shirt singular if arms are plural? <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. That's a head scratcher. <laughs> that is a tough one. You got to go first this time. You're fucked. I don't even know what the score is. It's two to X. I think we're tied. I, I'm going to say... This is a tiebreaker. <laughs> I'm going to say the shirt one is Gavin. 
Because Gavin likes to think in like body part numbers a lot for some oh, reason. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, in order to make this interesting, I'm going to disagree with you. And I'm going to say the long and the short words was Gavin. The long and the short words was Gavin. Audience, let's go with the long and short. Was that Gavin or was that Google? You guys seem split. So this is for the win. You say, Gavin said, why is the word long shorter than the word short? And he, she wanted to know why shirt is a singular word even though arms are plural. Gus, you win tonight's episode. Hell of yeah! Gavin Google. Along with the audience, you guys win as well. Congratulations. All right, thanks for playing Gavin or Google. Should we sing the theme song again? How about that? All right, hold on one second. I'm going to try to record you guys. Are you going to have this. to pull the words up? You're, you're doing this again. No, I'm going to record them saying it. You messed up your vine, didn't you? That's why we're doing this again. What? That's absolutely possibly correct. Did you mess up a lot? Okay. All right, are you guys ready? Do you want to do house lights, maybe? All right, let's all sing the song together. Gavin, Gavin or Google. Google. Google or Gavin. Which one said it? Let's find out. I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> there you go. That's much better. Much better that time. I'm glad you approve. All right, I'm going to read this thing here before we go on. 